Good evening and welcome back once again. So, in the last match we got another win, 2-0. Um, should have been more, but convincing win. Uh, this week we're playing Sporting, who are more towards the bottom end of the, of the table. So, you would think on paper this is going to be a relatively easy match, but that's not always how it goes. But, let's jump in to see who is starting in our 11 this week. Okay, so this is the starting lineup. Few changes, mainly because of conditions of players. Um, Trippier and Lewis coming in. Gumresh is going to play in that defensive midfielder role. We've got Willock coming in, as well as Rayner. Um, Bellingham playing in attack midfield too. And the usual two up front. Um, you see Davies is on a red as well, but I'm going to give him a little bit of a rest. And we've got quite a number of players on good conditions that we can bring in. Yeah, so the main thing I want to improve on, which I've mentioned in the past couple of matches, is our conversion rate for chances, I suppose. Um, nice clean from Dilip there. Not taking any chances. But yeah, we, we spin too many, you know, decent chances. Um, now, whether that's the actual finish itself or just the final pass, which would be the killer pass, yeah, we often just seem to just not quite get it right. Now, we do get it right a lot of the time because we win a lot of matches and we score a number of goals. Um, it's just frustrating when you play so well and you could be putting... Well, that's not a foul. You know, you could be scoring four or five goals, which you know you can't do every match, I know that, but when you play really well and it's just that poor last pass or, you know, just not a good finish. And I expect better, you know. Um, nice ball through to Willock there. Can he get it back? Oh, just over hit. Try to play it back there to, to Isaac. Nice tackle from uh, Trippier there. Just lost the ball. Is he offside there? Just yeah. That's a poor pass. That's a foul. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not injured. Oh, come on. Please don't let Isaac be injured. I don't take enough free kicks to be good at them. Um, and that clearly wasn't good. Does that mean Isaac's back on? I don't know. Oh, lovely finish there. I thought I'd just overran it. Balls played through. See, it just overran it there at the stretch. And um, managed to get it in. So, nice. And Isaac mustn't be injured, which is good. Actually, let me just quickly check. Shit, he is injured. That's a foul. That, 
terrible tackle. Oh, the two players just scything in there. 2 0. Isaac scores. Now it looks like he's injured. Um, yeah, you can see there. So. What do I do? Do I take him off? Maybe leave him a little bit longer? I'm not sure. Jamal Lewis on the overlap. Ah! Those finishes are so difficult. Like, even if you literally just tap the power, like the tiniest tap, it goes, you know, like three quarters of full power. Um, now, I'm assuming that's not a game fault, and it's just to signify that it's a difficult shot, like the player has to take. So the control's not there in terms of the power. Nice pass there. I think I'm going to try and see if I can get Isaac to half time and then we'll change him. Bellingham. How has that not gone in? Lovely tackle from Delict, and he comes away with the ball. I mean, he really does look like a like a silky player, doesn't he? Isaac, and he scored. He's injured. He shouldn't be jumping. He shouldn't be jumping over there. He's actually got strapping on his leg. I did not know that was a thing that happened in this game. Brilliant. Beautifully weighted through ball, but a lovely finish considering he's injured. Um, yeah, Bruno with the assist. But I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to take Isaac off right now. Let's give Brian Hill a go up front. Why not? Let's do it. Now, let's hope at the end of the game... You know, we'll get a message about how long Isaac's going to be out for. I'm assuming he's going to be out for a short period of time. Now, that might be a number of weeks, like two, three, or four weeks. Um, yeah, let's just hope it's not too long. That's a poor ball to Brian Hill. It was a simple ball to play, and he's somehow overhit it behind him. Shocking defending. I'm not going to watch that. That was just... be half time so we'll jump back in the second half really disappointed I've let a goal in there but we're winning by three goals to one so far and from a personal point of view there's, we let in too many of those goals where we're playing well and we just have a big lapse of concentration in defence and we don't get that tackle in and sometimes I think Shall I just side a player down? Take the card? But sometimes you can't even do it. You can't even get to the player to to stop it, even if it means taking a yellow card. Oh, Brian Hill was in there and he nearly chipped it over the keeper.
Or will it go the inside of the post? Oh, what a, a lovely shot that was. Bellingham, it's just not going in for us, is it? Oh, a nice ball across the face there as well, and just, just not, just not quite in the right position. Bruno gets tackled at the last second. Straight at the keeper. That's not good. Well, let's have a look. Subs. We've got two left, remember. So we've got Joel Linton coming on for Bellingham, and we have St. Maximum coming on for Liao. Going to push Bruno up a little bit, and Joel Linton can drop into that defensive midfielder role. That's once the ball goes out, obviously. Oh, thank God for that. Who can I pass to? Wayne I mean, should be in here, but no, somehow. Wayne is pretty quick, I don't know how he didn't catch that. That time I did purposely side him down. Could have got a red there actually, so but you know what? I could just feel it was one of those attacks where you're not gonna be able to stop them. Um Again I get in that feeling where they they just the passing suddenly goes up a notch. You guys just flying with the tackles and it still goes to their player. Nice, he's through here. St. Maximum got a score there. Oh, kept it in, but defend defender gets in the way. And here we go. Nice block there. Whew. Playing well. Um, don't get me wrong, we are. Just should have really killed this game off by now. So now it finds its way to their player again. It's crazy how often this happens. Um, So maximum's free now though. He's got plenty of space. Hill. Oh no! I pressed L1 to change the play and I pressed shoot too soon and it's chipped it. Because L1 and shoot is chip. Ah. Oh. <sighs> oh, that was, was just yeah. Not panic exactly, but just there we go. Brian Hill's got a goal. He deserves that. He's um, he's a lovely player, and um, I think he's been one of my favourite signings. And he's not by any means the best technically. Um, he's got a lot of things to improve on. But I think he's the one that maybe surprised me the most. I didn't think he'd be getting as much game time as he did. I mean, he's basically kicked Almon out of the team as first choice on that right side. And I know he's playing up top at this moment in time, but that's just a bit of an experiment. Wonderful block from to lift there. I'm just hoofing that out. Get out. Okay. Right. Ah. I 
That's this pinball thing I hate. <sighs> yeah. My only option there was to take him out. Which is not really what I want to do. It's not nice, really. Oh, th that was a foul. I mean, I was in full stride. He did what I'd been doing to their team, but it should have been a foul. Right, trying to pass. I'm pressing the pass button, it's not passing. And it's full time, so 4-1. I think that's about the right scoreline. Um, I think 3-1 would have been a little bit... Um, made them look better than what they were. Bellingham man of the match. Hill did well. Isaac did well. Now, the question is, is, is Isaac going to be out for a while or not? Let's jump in there, find out. Okay, so this is it. This is the condition warning for Isaac. Two weeks. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. And what matches is he actually gonna gonna miss? Well, unfortunately, this has fell on a week where we've got two matches. So he's gonna miss three games really. And I can't remember if you're injured whether you come back fully fit or if you've got some of your energy drained. Potentially, we're looking at either three or four matches he could miss. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. We've got the likes of Almiron, say Maximum, that we could play up there. Hills just play the second half up front. So we've got choices there, but we do need that striker at some point. Probably in the summer we'll be going for a striker, like a, a world-class striker. Especially for these eventualities where you do have injuries or yellow cards, that top up or red cards. We haven't really got an out-and-out -out striker. Replace one of those two up front. And remember, Liao's really not an out-and-out -out striker either. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for joining once again. If you can like the video, Again, that's much appreciated. Leave your comments down below how you feel the videos are going, the series as a whole. Is there anything else you'd like to see me play any other games? And if you do enjoy the channel, you know, have a think about subscribing if you can. But thank you very much and I'll speak to you all soon.